<laughs> hey guys, I'm Jessie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And I'm super excited about today because we're gonna decorate this corner in my bedroom. I've never decorated my bedroom for Christmas before, have you guys? But today is going to be the day that we do it together. I found a super inexpensive tree on walmart.com. Guess how much it was? $30. And guess how tall it is? It's six feet tall and it's pre-lit. I'm super excited. I wanted a gold tree, kind of, you know, a vintage feel for this mid-century home. I'll let you guys be the judge of whether you think it's gold or not. And anyway, let's go ahead and hop into decorating this tree. Let's get this stuff out of the corner. For Christmas night. Why don't, we make don't forget to like this video, it helps my channel so, so much. Thanks! Alright, so here she is, our six foot tree, which I don't know if she's actually six feet to be honest. Uh, she's a little bit taller than me, so... Anyway, let's go ahead and get this all separated, shall we? So we can see what it looks like before we decorate. And instead of boring you guys through pulling this all apart, I'm going to speed this up and play some cheerful Christmas music. And then we'll resume for the fun part, the decorating. So grab your cup of cocoa and we're gonna have a good time. <laughs> all right, see you in a second. So what do you guys think? What color do you think she is? Are we voting gold? Are we go voting silver? I think it's kind of somewhere between, but maybe a bit more silver. Well, let's get the lights on. Maybe it'll look different. All right, let's grab the cord. I love a pre-lit tree, you guys. It's literally the best. Is this like tied? Okay, I'm gonna have to untie this. Okay, so moment of truth. There it is. Ah, it looks more gold plugged in. I love it. It's super cute. What do you guys think? Okay, so the tree is a little bit different of a color than I expected, but I still think it's super cute. You guys let me know. It's funny because this was actually sold as a rose gold tree, which is definitely not rose gold. But I saw in the comments, some people said that it looks more like a champagne colored tree in real life. And I don't know if I would call this champagne, but it definitely is somewhere in between a gold and a silver. So anyway, it looks super cute lit. So that gives it more of a warm hue that I like. And now with the decorations, which you guys know, if you saw me decorate my bigger tree, my main tree then you know that which decorations we're about to use i'm super excited we're gonna get all of the red decorations on here and uh, you know hence why i'm dressed in red <laughs> and uh one other thing i wanted to tell you guys is as i was separating it you know you can kind of feel the quality of the tree obviously it's not the highest quality tree it was only 30 dollars. it's nothing like the big thick robust tree that i got as my main tree if you guys haven't seen that video check that out that tree is intense but i think it'll still last a couple of years like it's not like a one and done tree so anyway super excited let's look at the decoration <laughs> all right you guys i managed to get some christmas decorations and if you're wondering how old some of these are this is in the Charlotte Ruse bag. I don't even know if that store exists anymore, so <laughs> give me your guesses below. So anyway, we have some hooks here and we have tons of these red shimmery bows. Look at how cute these are. Super cute, look at that. And then we have even more bows, like bows and bows and more bows. So plenty of bows. And I have these that are more like table topper poinsettias that I think I got from Dollar Tree a while ago. But I think they'll look really pretty kind of just placed stuffed in the tree. We'll see how it works. They might be too heavy to just go in the tree. Um, but we'll see. 
and I have some baubles. I think we're just going to use the red ones because this is our red tree, right? And we need a tree topper. And even though I bought a tree, I do want to reduce, reuse, recycle. So this is all things I've already had. So we're gonna try to do our best to use it. I have one of these as well. So maybe we put a tinsel red tree topper. I think that could be really cute. Um, and I also have the option of doing, adding a little bit of green in there and doing this mistletoe tree topper. I have another one that has a red ribbon on it as well. So let's see, let me know which one you think is best. Like these are kind of our tree topper options at the moment. I do have some red ribbon where I could tie like a big bow and I also have some gold ribbon so I could tie a big gold bow as well. Um, so yeah, we'll see when we finish decorating the tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover the tree. What should I do first, the baubles or the bows? <laughs> Here, I'll cover the tree and the bows because there's so many of them and then we'll use the other things to just fill it in because there's not as many. Sounds like a good plan. going on the tree oh it's so cute it's like since the bow is shimmery too it just like it looks like they're made for each other and this bow is like so much older than this tree okay okay look at that cute so we're just gonna keep going and I think I have some bows that have bells on them as well I just need to find them if we need more bows we'll be able to add plenty of bows <laughs> All right, you guys, I am loving the bows on this tree. It's like they were made for each other. And the more I look at this tree, the more I'm like, I think they sent me a silver tree because it's not giving gold next to this red. Like, look at this. This is clearly gold. And that's clearly not gold. <laughs> anyway, oh well. Um, I just wanted to show you guys, look at this price. $1.97 for 16 bows like to see a deal like this today would be amazing so i'm glad i kept these all these years it doesn't say the year on this but it's been a while for sure all right so i think i'm just gonna put like a few more bows i need some over here on the side and you know maybe right here and then we're gonna go in with some of the other decorations Okay, so now I think it's time to try to go ahead and put these poinsettias in here. It's feeling a bit heavy, I'm not gonna lie. But let's see if we can stick it in here. Ooh. This too, so I'm trying to kind of twist it in here. How does that look? Do I have to stay kind of near the bottom of these? Okay, and then another one. I kind of want at least one like here, so at least it goes one, two, three. Let's see if we can make that happen. The top is not as strong. I'm trying to wrap some of the arms around it so like the tree is like holding it here. 
I can get some twist ties and stuff too, but I might do it. All right, you guys, I am loving this. I think it's coming together super cute. Even with the little poinsettias in there, it just it's just bringing it to life. And so now the last main thing we have are these red baubles, which are gonna just really reflect the light and make it look super cute. So I'm going to go ahead and put the hooks on all of these and get them hung on the tree. Look, it's just what it needs, right? Just what it needs. And I'm thinking this is going to be the perfect topper, but let's see, <laughs> not there yet. Okay, you guys, I'm loving how the tree is coming along. Do you guys love it? Do you love it? Like, would you do anything different? And I just went and looked at my trunk of Christmas stuff again, and look what I found. Of course, I should have been wearing this the entire time. Now I'm Jesse the reindeer. <laughs> and look, I almost forgot I have these little Robin decorations. So cute. So let's put some of these in our tree. Oh my gosh, there's nothing like seeing a robin in the snow. Ah, oh. look, you can't even see its little feet. Ah, oh, it just looks like it's perched in the tree. So cute. And I have another one. It still has some snow attached to it. How cute is that? <laughs> you guys see this? Yeah, right there. There you go. There we go. Cute. Super, super cute. Hello, little bird. Okay. And then I found some other stuff. There's some of this tinsel. It's just like paper tinsel. I don't know if this is going to look good or just look stupid, but let's, let's just put some in here and see what happens. Let's do some down here. Does that look good or is it like, what the? I think it looks fine. It's red, I mean. We're going for all things red and festive on this tree, right? Put some in here near the birdie. And some here. Okay, let me step back and see if I'm liking this or not. Okay, so I must say that I think that we have successfully, successfully hidden the entire tree behind red decorations. I did have like these little pieces of like holly um, that I stuck in there. So it is a bit of green, but it's in the flower plant scents. And oh my gosh, I love it. Now all we have to do is decide on the topper and turn the lights on. So. I found another option, you guys. So here is a bow that I need to glue back together, but here's a bow. So let's kind of hold it up there. I think that could be it, you guys, since this is like the bow tree. And then the other option is to do a red Christmas tree topper on a red Christmas tree. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and see how this looks on here. What do we think? Definitely no, right? No. Okay. So we're going to get this bow on here. I'm super excited. It's kind of broken, but I think I can make it work. There's even still some tape on here for me trying to fix it last year. I have a hot glue gun that would just take care of this real quick, but I don't know where I put it. <laughs> okay. 
myself. Jason right there. Right there. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. you guys are you ready to get this all lit up so I told you I'm trying to just use what I have so I had this, this is the only fabric I have with red on it and it's stripey which is super cute so I'm just gonna put this fabric around the base as our skirt and then we're gonna plug this in and see how she looks all right and you see I propped her up on a box and maybe I should open the fabric all the way that. I think this is about two yards. I also got this from Walmart, I mean, a while ago to make something else, but yeah, I haven't used it yet, so it's going to be our tree skirt now. Three, two, one! <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh! This is so cute! I might love this one more than my other tree. I'm in love. And I love how all of these things just came together with stuff that I had left over from decorating my other tree. Oh, it's so cute. You guys tell me what your favorite part of this tree is and if you would have done anything differently. I absolutely love it. I hope that this inspired you to put a tree in your bedroom too or in another special corner of your house. I'll put a link below to this tree and if I can find any of these decorations still around something similar, I'll link that below too so that you guys can maybe have a shot at recreating this tree. <laughs> so you guys, I must say that me and my new red tree make a really good match. So I'll see you guys in the next video and until then, Merry Christmas. And it is cold oh, I just love it. We gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday.